All right, everyone. Now, this is day two, so we're going to be focused strictly on exercises that work our back and bicep muscles. Our first exercise is going to be a bent over one arm row, of course, using the dumbbell. Okay, now for the bent over one arm row, you should bend over slightly with the dumbbell out in front of you, like so. Pull all the way up. Feel the contraction in your back. Let it back down. All the way up. All the way back down. Remembering to contract at the top and to also control the weight on this way down. Now you repeat that for the number of reps for this set. And of course, you would do the exact same thing for the other arm. Our second exercise is a standing hammer curl. Hold the dumbbell in one of your hands. Bring it up. All the way down. Contract at the top. All the way down. Straight up. All the way down. And repeat with the other hand. Make sure that you're using a weight that is not too heavy for you. If you have to incorporate your back into it and strain, then the weight is too heavy. It's not about the pride of how much weight you're able to lift. It's about the importance of doing it correctly so that you don't injure yourself. Our third exercise is a bent over row. Now this time for this back exercise, we're going to bend over the same way we did with the one arm row, but we will row with both hands at the same time. Still contracting at the top of the exercise and controlling it on the way down. Now our fourth exercise is the alternated bicep curl. We're going to take dumbbells in both of our hands at the same time. We're going to curl with one hand all the way up, all the way back down. Curl, contract at the top. Control it on the way down. Just like so. Okay, our next back exercise is going to focus on our trap muscles, and it is a dumbbell shrug. So holding the dumbbells at your side, shrug up with your shoulders, contract, let back down. Shrug up, contract, let back down. If you notice the dumbbells are not moving with my arms, they're solely moving from the movement of the shoulders. And our final exercise for today is an inner bicep curl. We're going to take the dumbbells at your side. Instead of curling forward like we did with the alternated bicep curl, what we're going to do, we're going to curl outwards. 